I, I'm trying to remember the, the uh, details of the, the last research, uh, Dr. Ritter, and it seems to me that um, one of the issues that, um, that I had some concern about was the fact that the money that was being spent, especially the money being spent for high poverty students, wasn't having an impact. I wanted to establish that because I really appreciate the information that you brought today. Um, I would have been much more grateful if I'd seen um, a focus on the money we spent and, and the fact that the gap uh, has increased. And, and I would have, would have been interested in those variables that that um, that are causing that. So, so taking this information into consideration, what's the next step to give us the information we need uh, as we go into the next session? And we're looking at this uh, this, this gap. I mean, we we've got we, we know where we are. I have some difficulty looking at averages across the board because I think it really does a disservice to the ones that are at the high, high level, and, uh, and it misrepresents the one, ones that are at the lowest level. So, um, but that's another story. Tell me then, was there any attention given to uh, the variables that are in play that cause this gap to continue to increase? Well, let me be careful. Uh, I, I wouldn't want to characterize the gap increasing in a, in a negative move there. Let me uh, go up. Uh, and in some cases it stayed flat, in some cases it's increased, but let me get, let me show you an overtime picture. Um, but uh, the key thing to look at perhaps is not what the, the gap has done. I would look, for example, on that graph and say Hispanic students in O2 have moved from 15% to 22, uh, black students from 5% to 12, and the reason the gap, if it's any bigger, is uh, white students grew a little bit more. So my area of concern would be not that the gap has grown, but that it remains. In other words, because there is an upside. Uh, African American students are improving, Hispanic students are improving. Uh, so they are improving, but the, that the gap is there is troubling. Uh, but I don't think there's been some cause of increase that things have gotten worse over the past couple of years. I think things just haven't gotten better quickly enough. Now, as to the cause of that, um, I think it takes lots of time for effective programs to work. I'm not sure that we know if the NSLA money has been used for effective programs, and it's hard, and I, I don't know that it's fair to blame schools or educators. If I were to go to a list and say, I've got extra money now, that is an effective way to increase achievement for all students, and particularly for disadvantaged students, I'm not sure what program I'd look to. It's not obvious what an effective program is. I think this is a a uh, very uh, difficult problem, and if, if there were easy answers, folks would have figured it out. So, so I think the money's in place, but I don't think we've come up with effective strategies yet because it's it's difficult. And, and just briefly, let me get to your last point. What can we do as we approach the legislative session? It was talked about earlier. I think it is important that those of us who do research need to get into a few of these schools and districts that have done a good job of increasing achievement for all students and reducing the gap at the same time and find out what's going on there and be ready to talk to you about sharing that information when the session begins in January or not. I hope that addresses your question. I think you covered all the things that are, are, are a concern for me and I just hope the next time we have a, a, a deeper conversation about those those pieces that you can well, that's, that's, that. that's really beyond the scope of my request to OEP. This, this is a report card. And the policy decisions that lie and affect the results that are were published here, or I couldn't agree with you more, they are very important. But I didn't really ask them to, to delve into that degree. The request here was simply to provide an objective scorecard. Give the state a report card on how we're doing. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Representative